Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Liam Douglas here, and in today's video, we're doing a review of the Sand Show SD card. Now, uh, these are uh, standard SDXC cards for your cameras, video cameras, stills cameras, whatever the case may be. Now, of course, they're not going to work in action cameras because it's full size and not micro HD or micro SD, I mean, but it is capable of handling 4K and 8K recordings. So we're going to be talking about this memory card today. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and roll the intro. Okay, now before we get into this too much, I just wanted to let you know, full disclosure, Sandshow did reach out to me to review this item, but they're not a sponsor. They didn't pay me to do a review of this product. They're not going to see the video before you do, and they had no input on what I'm saying in this video. So let's go ahead and open this up here. It comes in a really nice um, small box that has a wood look to it on the sides. It is a pretty nice box and it flips up and here we have the SD card inside a plastic shell to give it extra protection and we'll go ahead and open this up here as well. Now this here is a UHS-2 card. It's V90. Uh, it's capable. I don't know if the focus is on on that or not or if it's missing the focus. Uh, I apologize if it is. I can't quite tell. Um, but it is a 300 megabits per second memory card for uh, speed. And of course, the speed is going to vary depending on what kind of device you're using it in, your card reader, so many other things. Uh, but this is a very nice, well-made SD card. I've been using it for the last couple of weeks in my Fujifilm X-T5. And I've had no performance issues whatsoever. Uh, when I did some read and write tests on my Mac OS desktop, with the Blackmagic um, test utility uh, for testing uh, SD cards, micro SD cards, SSD, stuff like that. Um, I got really good performance numbers out of it, comparable to my Lexar and ProGrade digital cards. So that is absolutely a plus because if you're going to be out shooting and especially if you're going to be doing video, if you're going to be doing 4K or 8K video, you want to know you've got a memory card that's up to the task and is actually going to be able to keep up with your video recording. And through my testing, I've had no problems with this whatsoever. Uh, it's read and write speeds are very good. And I didn't do as much video shooting with it as other people might have, just because I'm not as video intense a channel um, other than my YouTube content as other people. I do occasionally shoot video for clients and stuff like that, but not a lot i do primarily stills photography you know things like that so for that i've had absolutely no problem with this the uh the buffer capabilities with this memory card in my fujifilm xt5 were very good like i said again comparable to the lexar and the prograde digital sd card so i definitely don't have anything negative to say about that um whatsoever and and i'm just being honest with you i try to be as honest with my viewers as possible um, and I've had very good performance with this card, so I'm very happy with it. Now, they did only send me one of these cards. Uh, they do offer them, of course, in various sizes, 64, 128, and I think 256 gig. And you can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link down below for you so you can check them out for yourself. The pricing is quite reasonable as well. I don't know the memory or the price right offhand off the top of my head, but I'll make sure I put it in the description down below. Uh, so that you'll be fully informed. Now, those will be affiliate links, so if you do buy any of these memory cards using my links down below, you'll j donate a little bit of money to the channel. It's not much, and it doesn't increase your overall price for the product whatsoever. Uh, but I do, like I said, I do love the design of the card. It's very nice looking. you got your double rows of pins and contacts on the back, uh, which is typical with UHS-2 cards especially. And as I said before, this is basically, as far as I can tell, it's a V90 card. It does. It says on the box, and it's. I think it says on the card itself that it's V90. Um, I know that it's 300 megabits and 250 megabits. Uh, the read speed is 300, and I believe the write speed is technically 250. 
uh, I do believe. But like I said, the performance I got with this is comparable to my Lexar and, and ProGrade digital cards, so no complaints whatsoever there. Now the cards do come with a five-year warranty, and it shows that the working temperature on the back of the box, it says, is minus 10 Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius, and the storage temperature is minus 40 Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius. So, a uh, pretty robust and durable card, something that you could definitely count on out in the field. Now, like I said, I've only shot with it for a couple of weeks so far, but I've had no performance issues with it whatsoever. I've had no issues with corrupt files or anything like that. This card has performed extremely well. Uh, so, I, again, I definitely don't have any complaints about it whatsoever. And I do like the fact that when you open up the box, you not only have the, the beautifully designed external box, uh, for the memory card, but that you have the plastic internal storage box as well, the impact box. So you have the extra protection. Um, you can carry them out in the field, you know, spare ones like this if you want, or, you know, open up the box and just take out the clear plastic uh, container with the memory card in it and put that in your camera bag or your memory card holder, whatever the case may be, and know that the cards uh, will be safe and secure while you're out in the field that you're not going to have any problems with it You're not going to have any issues. You know if you drop one while it's in that plastic case You don't have to worry about it getting damaged or broken or anything like that So you you, you got peace of mind there now It is class 10 as I said before and it's SDXC as it says right here on the box and it is professional grade high-speed SD card That has been my experience again I've had absolutely no performance issues with this memory card whatsoever. It has worked extremely well, and I'm definitely going to be picking up a few more of these myself. I like to have a variety of memory cards for my cameras. Uh, currently, I have primarily Lexar and ProGrade Digital. I have a boatload of SanDisk cards, but as you may or may not know, after Western Digital took over SanDisk, a lot of SanDisk's products have really gone down the tubes. And so I don't recommend their, their memory cards or SSDs or anything anymore uh, just because I don't want to endorse them as a good product and then you buy them and take them out in the field and have problems and lose all your content. You're going to be upset with me uh, in addition to being upset with them. So I highly recommend you stick with the, the better name brand SD cards, Lexar, ProGrade Digital, and now Sancho SD as well. Uh, I believe you could definitely use these, buy quantities of these, keep them in your bag, take them out in the field, use them in all your cameras, and you're not going to be disappointed with the performance whatsoever. All right, so as I mentioned in the early segment of this video earlier when I was doing the, uh, the unbox of the Sancho SD, my, uh, SDX, uh, SDXC card, uh, these are fantastic cards. Uh, again, I've been using it for a couple of weeks, had absolutely no problems whatsoever. I've used it in conjunction with, paired with one of my Lexar or ProGrade digital cards at the same speed, and I was getting the same performance from both this card and either of those cards. So definitely a card that you're gonna wanna check out for your cameras. This here will give you another quality brand of of SD cards that you can use in your stills camera, your video camera, your hybrid camera, whatever the case may be. And you can be confident taking these out into the field and knowing that you're not gonna have a problem with them. Now, of course, I can't say the, the cards are 100% bulletproof. I can't say that about any SD cards. Uh, just because of technology, there's always the possibility at some point down the road a card could fail for whatever reason. And it's not a knock on this company or anybody else, it's just the nature of the beast. I've worked in IT for 34 years in addition to being a photographer. And I can tell you, it's only a matter of time before you have a failed SD card. I've talked to photographers that have shot for years and said they'd never had one fail. Uh, however, they were also the kind of photographers that would only use cards for a certain amount of time and then they would set them aside as backup cards and buy a new set of fresh cards to continue using in their cameras just for their own peace of mind. But again, as I've said throughout this video, you can definitely have peace of mind with the Sancho SD card that you've got a good quality card. It's going to perform as well as the Lexar, ProGrade, PNY, some of those other top name brands, Samsung, uh, other SD cards that are comparable to this one, you're going to get just as good a performance from this card as you would from any of those other brands. So I can definitely recommend it. And again, they didn't pay me to do this review. They sent me the memory card for free and asked me if I wanted to try it out and do a review on it. And I said, sure. Uh, always looking for new memory card 
companies, suppliers to recommend to other photographers, to those of you who view my videos and listen to my podcast. And here we have another great one today with the Sand Show SD cards. All right, that's going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch it. Please remember to subscribe down below, turn on all notifications, and I will see you in the next video.